Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, a couple changes to um, Sid Meier's Pirates. First off, welcome back. My name is Diamond Digger. Number Diamond Digger number twenty-one. Wow, almost messed up my name, or I kind of did anyway. Uh, anyway, welcome back. Uh, this is actually going to be a little bit of a uh, a post commentary divot here, about an hour or so. Um, the reason for this being that um, my audio screwed up. How lovely is that, kitties? Kitty sounds kind of pedophiliac. Or pedophilic? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, phone ringing. Yeah, so uh, this segment of the commentary, I think we'll make it an hour or 45 minutes special or something like that. This part of the commentary will be post-commentary, so if you want to skip that, go ahead. Um, I remember most of what happened here. It's been maybe a week or so. Uh, I just had it sitting on my desktop, and unfortunately all of my um, volume corrupted. Or no, actually my volume didn't corrupt. My microphone corrupted or broke or something. But I have a new headset now, so that should be okay. Um, so yeah, right now we're just back into it. We just flew out of a port, and uh, right now we are currently navally fighting. Nasal, navally. <laughs> uh, we're fighting the French now because I've been picking on them for a while, and uh, I'm deciding to attack both the sloop and the uh, cargo ship, a merchantman. Neither one of them has guns or a decent amount of guns. They only got like maybe about 15, 16 a pop, a piece, whatever. And they don't really pose that much of a threat to the nightmare. 176 crew, plus 40 guns. There's no way you're getting on top of that thing. I mean, it would take six ships firing all at once to take me down. And as you can see here, I'm just decking the sloop of war. And we go in for uh, some sword fighting slash uh, border repelling. Oh, oh, hey, look, we've got pistols too. And we draw our sword. Now, the funny thing about this is this guy's only got 30 dudes on board, and the frames are pretty choppy. Lovely. You know, we would you would think for uh, one thing that, um, like, we would get pretty tired of just jumping down in the same fashion. Oh, no, look, I'm on fire. The guy j jumps off. It's all pretty generic, but it's still funny at the same time. It's a very classic game. But, uh, yeah. What is that? It's like a bulge in our pants. It's really weird. All right. Ooh, 65 gold pieces plundered. Yay, that's... That's nothing. That's totally nothing. Eh, sink her, because we don't need her. I'm just going to go along with it, because they're... Ooh, that was pretty. Explosions and fireworks and grape shot that apparently was extremely loud. Now, you see, I don't really understand the process here of the merchantman. It's just trying to get away, but it's not even going with the wind. Or is it? I can't really tell. I don't know how... I don't know how to tell direction of the wind for this one. 15 crew are left and surrender? Yes, they do. A healthy haul. What's a healthy haul? Almost 600. Not bad. Sink the ship and take all the sugar. Because we can. I wanted to do a little bit of trading and tidbit stuff here and there with this kind of thing, but you know what? Maybe trading isn't for me just yet. I don't know. I mean, I could do trading, couldn't do trading. Yada yada. Ooh, French are mad at me. Guadalupe, 191 versus 240. Clock ringing in the background. And... Montserrat might be a little bit weaker. I think we attack Montserrat first. It's like, I've got a decent amount of men, but... You know, you, you never want to be too careful. I'm gonna travel to Nevis real quick. Try and pick up some dudes there. See if we can get any other gear so slash supplies. Maybe drop off some of a cargo. Random tidbitty stuff like that. Sugar's cheap. Forget it. <sighs> oh, collect the spice though. Spice is expensive. Go to places, pick up spice for cheap, and then go sell it in big ports. Ooh, that's a money maker right there. Um. Dunning. Yeah, no, I'm poor. At this stage, I was pretty poor. I didn't have much money. And these guys... So the barmaids are pretty... Not bad for being pixely. 24 per ton? Ooh. 24 per ton. And... 95 gold pieces for loot? Oh, thank you. But, uh... Eh, okay. Okay. This guy's probably gonna give us a promotion. Mr. Stick up his arse. Look at this. His posture's terrible. And promoted. Upgrades will be cheaper. Oh, I wish I knew that beforehand. I don't even think I realized it then. Oh, she ugly. Peace. 
It's like, you know, walk up to the governor. Hey, man, what's chilling? He's like, not much, yo, not much here. Oh, yo, you, you getting promoted? And you're like, aye. And then he's all like, here's my daughter. And you're like, oh, nope, she ugly. Deuces. And you just walk out. That's beautiful. I am so white, it's not even funny. That is not meant to be a racist joke. That just means that I cannot pull off the ghetto uh, vocabulary. If you will, I'm going to play with the Zippo on my desk. Ooh, two, 224 versus 220. That's going to be an even match, kind of, I guess. And, ooh, first land battle of the game. Not LAN as in L-A-N. LAN, duh. Duh. Troop placement. Oh, this seems peachy. Uh, kind of. Uh, I'm going to be hormonal and not choose where to start. Okay, so over here on the left, since I don't really have a mouse for this segment, um, we've got 35 officers, and they're going to move into the brush. I'm going to try and move all of my buccaneers up, because they're ranged units. Buccaneers have muskets and rifles. And they can pretty much pick off anybody from a distance. Pirates are more of hand-to-hand -hand combat guys. And they can rip and tear and shred people to pieces. But uh, for now, they're not going to do much. Alright, so... Just moving my peeps around. It's actually kind of fun taking towns because... The Spanish usually actually have a decent amount of cash or gold in their, um... In their, uh, reserves. I think maybe around... Eight, nine thousand a piece. It's not that bad, considering the fact that uh, gold is probably the most lovely thing in the whole wide world, next to having a trump load of cash in your uh, wallet. How much do I have in my wallet anyway? I got like maybe six singles and one, two, three, four, five, a bunch of twenties. That's a ne decent for gas. Gas costs so much. I'm so glad that these ships didn't run on gas; they ran on wind, and wind was free. Free as the wind. Get it? Because it's wind. Oh, look, Indians. Injuns. Native Americans or something like that. Uh. Alright, so, um. Yeah. There's that. Buccaneers. Just gonna move the Buccaneers up. Also, what I didn't realize beforehand, and I didn't realize for quite some time, was the fact that if you move a unit into cover, it costs two moves, but if you move them out of cover, you get both your moves, so you can move them two different spaces. And over here, I'm just trying to figure out what units are what. And let's see, what am I doing with the Buccaneers? Okay, yeah, I'm going to move them up into range and try and fire on the Indians. I'm trying to figure out how to change targets as well, and I don't think I figured that out for the first, like, 20 minutes. 27 damage, not bad. Uh... 35 Buccaneers. And we're going to try and move them up somewhere so they can get like a line of sight slash fire on these guys. Um, I don't know what I did with these. I skipped, I guess. Yep, no, I skipped. Because that was delayed. Um, where you, you guys are going towards the rocks, okay. These guys are going in the brush. or No, they, they can go through the brush. That's wonderful. And then these guys are going to try and move up as best as they can. Those guys do that. And then... It's my turn again. Yay! Pirates! The officers are going to move back into the brush. I don't know why I did that. Um, I don't know how to choose and change targets, so I just keep clicking on the different uh, individual enemies. For some reason, I can't really figure out how to do that. So there's that. Uh, 31 damage is decent. Picking them away, picking them off one by one, bit by bit, so on and so such. Uh, this playthrough was actually quite entertaining, uh, the live commentary part of it. At least I remember it that way. Um, the only issue that I had pretty much was the fact that my microphone was being picked up by Fraps, and Fraps is being really stupid like that. Uh, but yeah, you get what you pay for, I guess. Once this is uploaded, I think I'm going to move on, finish up Half-Life Source, or actually finish uploading that. I just got it all sitting on my desktop. Never really have time to sit home and write all the tags and everything. I gotta maybe form a schedule uploader or something like that, but I don't really trust it. I like doing it manually. Just like manual uh, transmissions. Those are pretty cool. Anyway. Oh. Infantry and buccaneers. Yeah, no, that's not gonna be fun. Oh, and there go the infantry. They killed off one of my ranged units. 
pirate turn. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Going to move these guys out of cover, and that's going to take a while. <sighs> Buccaneers. Okay, there we go. Let's fire. And 29% damage. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to move the pirates up. Come on. Which way do I move them? Oh. There we go. Okay. And then we move them up to attack the infantry, I believe. Yes, we do. Wow. Five to two? I'll take those odds. And another pirate group, which I think we put on the hill. Yes, we do. Sweet. Alright, I think things look up from here. I think I might lose another ranged unit or two. But uh, for now, the buccaneers seem to be doing their job. Until they get hammered by uh, the infantry later on. As you can see, the French moving up, taking pot shots at my uh, pirates. They're still not going to be able to wipe them all out before they charge ahead. And those guys come around and they flank, so they get four and I get one. Those odds are crappy. Uh, lovely stuff. Oh, now you can run through the rocks. Sweet. So we got one ranged unit left and we've got a bunch of officers. And these officers are going to be some sneaky devils in a minute. Flank. What is that? That's 10 plus 1. That's 11. 11 to 2. Those odds, man. Alright, so... Can't move those guys. So I'm just going to move the pirates. 4 and 2. The infantry are pretty much done for. And now we've got very angry pirates on a hill. You don't want angry pirates ever. I think that's a very bad thing. 4 to 5. Odds, I win. But yeah, all the same. Angry pirates, you don't want to have any of that. None of that wants to happen. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Dot AVI, dot PNG, dot JPEG, dot every video and image file. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'd rather face hungry, angry bears than angry pirates. I mean, imagine imagine a gaggle of angry pirates at Walmart. Not in a Target, not like an island, not back in the day in the 1600s. At Walmart. Imagine the chaos that is already at Walmart. And then imagine pirates in Walmart. My feelings for that are just out there. I seem moderately stunned right now, but I am not. I'm just like pulling random thoughts out of thin air and out of my head. Which doesn't seem to be working all the time, but you know what? You get what you pay for. And guess what? I didn't pay for this, so I get it anyway. Alrighty. Uh, recording seems to be working okay. Barmaids. The barmaids are far more attractive than some of the daughters. Most of them, really. Let's see. Trade with the merchant. You got nothing for me. You actually stink, so I might... What do I do? I take sugar or spice and everything nice? Hey-o! 69 tons and... I sail away. I attack Montserrat, I think. I don't know. What do, yeah, no, I attack it. Yep, another land battle. 237 versus 140 pirate uh, soldiers. I have this one in the bag. As you can see, my setup, I've got all of my buccaneers in front. Kind of. So I'm just going to start making a firing squad in a minute. Yep, I'm just uh, trying to figure out where to move the Buccaneers. So instead, move this guy up and start firing away, I guess. Do I learn how to do things now? No, I don't remember when I learn how to uh, switch targets. Um, pirates move. Do I move them? Yes, I do. I think I move them to the uh, top right. Right? Yes? Maybe? Maybe, maybe, yes, yes, yes. Nope. Okay, I move him down one. Never mind. JK. And I move him into the brush. Brush, by the way, also gives you cover, and you can't really shoot somebody around rocks. So there's that also. And now I think I remember to change targets was pressing shift to control, and I realized it in the video sometime, and was like, oh yeah, silly me, I didn't even realize that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's when I play video games, and it's just like, oh, do I do this? Do I do that? I don't know what I do. Move into cover, forget that I skipped a turn, so that stinks. Um, and then moving pirates around for no apparent reason whatsoever. 
Now I'm trying to skip turns and move around and see what units I can use. These pirates are just chilling in the back doing nothing. Being useless. I think I lose a lot of ranged units in this one. Not quite sure. I like it when I, like, the uh, crew is pretty damn angry. And you're just like, you know what? I gotta get rid of you guys. So you either attack a bunch of ships and wait for them all to die. Or you know, just kill off a decent amount of them in a town battle. Oh, Indians. Surprise, Indians! Surprise, Indians. Those are lovely. So, um... Yeah. I don't even know what to do with those guys. In fact, I think I will be back in just a moment. Yep. And so we're back, and we're not doing much, really, except for moving more pirates. Yay! I actually went and had dinner. It was a rotisserie pork with... Uh, barbecue sauce and it, it was all right I took a little dinner break because uh, I've been having a headache trying to dual monitor slash edit all of this uh, mumbo jumbo I'm actually trying to organize a couple more uh, gaming schedules since now that it's summer and the college season doesn't start for a while um, I can I, I'm gonna be doing some console games I gotta finish up Battlefield 3 all that stuff corrupted I'm so angry at that so I gotta replay and go through it again uh, I started Modern Warfare 2, and I just got to transfer it from Titan to uh, Tiny Tyke. I've got three computers, Titan 2.0, Titan, which I'm on right now, and Tiny Tyke. Tiny Tyke is a dual-core um, Intel computer, and I've got that tucked aside for, like, standard editing and uploading. And it's all connected via some hard drives and such. And, uh, yeah. Titan 2.0 is in the making, but even so. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's basically it. I mean, not much else to go with that, but, uh, Modern Warfare 2, um, on, once Titan is fully, uh, put back into position, I gotta put him on a desk again, he's an idiot, uh, once he's back in his normal position, I'll be doing Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2 with Xeno, hopefully, as long as Xeno isn't out in the boonies on vacation anymore, uh, I'm gonna be doing some more Killing Floor, just for ranting and raving purposes, uh, I might do a couple of racing games here and there, this and that, ooh, I missed that one, we lost some people, I guess, that's just peachy. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? So much to do in such little time. I've also got a, uh, a Revel Monogram 67 Corvette 427 Roadster. That is a, uh, Chevrolet Corvette. And age is 10 and up. Skill level number 2. And it's a 1.25, or, I don't know. It's a, uh, I don't know. It's a scale model thingy. Uh, yeah, and I still gotta put the, put it together. I think I'll uh, do a before and after little video on that. Put that up on YouTube or something. Also, my car. My car is a cute little car. I've gotta do a um, video on that. I got that like maybe a year ago. Never did a video on it, but I should do it because I'm actually getting some work done to it soon. Cosmetic work that is. Doesn't need it, but you know what? I got the money and I'll put it on there anyway. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, more angry pirates. And you don't want to fight angry pirates. That's not fun. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, sweet. We finished with the town. And I want a Dutch burger to rule. Burger. 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 Barjar. Um, I don't know. Ooh. Anyway, the Dutch are in power now, so that's good. And, ooh. Jesuit missionaries will like me. There we go. I haven't stopped at any of those. And the French put a price on my head of a thousand. That's all I'm worth? A thousand? After all the tonnage I've destroyed on them, I'm only worth a thousand. I would understand ten thousand, but not a thousand. That's just outrageous. And look at this fat tub of lard. What's up, buddy? Someday I might be promoted to Baron? Oh, gee, thank you. It's lovely. And your daughter's gorgeous, and I don't see her yet. So that's lovely. Um, hmm. I don't even know what to do now. It's just like... Alright, so we're going to sail out of Montserrat. And let's see if we should attack more French. Yeah, we're going to. Why not? You could use some... I don't know, ships, I guess? Or stuff? I just like picking fights. Oh, they fired the first shot. They're not too happy. 
Ouch, and I just lost some crew members. That stinks. Oh well. And that completely missed them. Alrighty. Let's see if we can immobilize these guys with some chain shot. It's like little dubstepy cannon shots every time you hear a chainsaw. It goes whoop 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 but it's the air hissing around it. And I really don't like this uh, the audio glitch where if you fire a volley and as you're turning it fires off a second part of the volley at a lou louder uh, decibel rate. It's just very awful. And, hey. You know what? It's an old game so whatever. I'm not going to really care too much. I'm just going to sink this guy. Ow. It's hurting my ears. Oh, that guy with his one cannon shot. And that guy with a ship that's completely broken and just blew up. Now this guy we're going to go pick on. Let's knock him down. I think we knocked this one down to like six crew members. I forget what we knocked him down to. Probably like six or so. 34 and then another thing pumped into him. I think we knock him down to around six. Yep, six exactly. Oh hey, and a shiny stack for the taking. What is a shiny stack, you ask? It's nothing. I've got... 40 minutes left to that. Alright, and we're going to make good time. I've got to go somewhere tonight. So I'll get this done. I'll set this up for rendering. It'll be an hour-long special. Um, some should go up tonight. In fact, all of it, hopefully. If not, I'm going to cry a little. Because I said it would go up tonight, which is Sunday. And yeah. But um, more videos to come, hopefully. I just have to free up my schedule so much. I've been trying to take care of car payments. Because I owe money for repairs and such. I had to redo my alignment because I almost got into a car accident. Alright, so you know what? Let's go on a little rant for a minute. Picture this. You're on a road called Skyline Drive. And this is a nice, like, scenic route. It's up and around a mountain and into some hilly areas. It's actually where Hun Hunger Games 2 was being filmed. Right in uh, Rankwood or some somewhere in New Jersey. It's where I live. And, uh... Basically what happens is, there's this idiot in front of me, and he's sideways in the road. I'm like, what happened? I see his car messed up, so I start slowing down. I'm like, oh crap, did he like get into an accident? Little did I realize that coming closer towards me, as we get into a fight with a Baroque or Barkin or something like that, a little did I realize that there was a Chevy Trailblazer coming straight at me, and it had its front wheel missing. So it was just going barrel barreling down at me, and I had nothing better to do than turn to the right and hop onto somebody's... Uh, um, into somebody's lawn. So I screw up their lawn and I crack a ball joint. And basically what happened was that guy got into a car accident and smashed himself against the guardrail, so that wasn't a pretty picture. You know what? No accident was really pretty. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, you get what you pay for, I guess. In my case, I paid for a nice car and a new ball joint because I needed it, apparently. Whatever. I can't complain too much. And there goes the other ship, the Sloop of War, which I didn't care about. Hmm, I should really charge my phone. My phone needs a charging. Alright. I'm <laughs> taking pot shots at the nightmare. I laugh at you. And if Ollie, just to piss you off and try and lower your crew. Oh, the audio is going all wonky. I don't know if that's on my end or that if that's just in general. It kind of scares me. I think that's just the uh, the audio for me on um, my part because I'm listening in through a pair of crappy earbuds and just using a really nice mic. Um, oh boy, where are we going now? Guadalupe, do they want to... Yep. Oh, this is going to be a cakewalk. 120 soldiers. Let's start a new location. Yep, right there, right up in front. This is where I make the firing line. All the guys in back. Move those guys into the brush. And start moving my buccaneers up. Start moving them up and across, up and across, up and across. Um, I try skipping around moving people. Oh well. Alright, so let's move those there, and move these here, and I have no idea what's going on. I actually want to get towards, uh, playing, or not playing, um, recording some Killing Floor. Actually, yeah, playing it. I want to play some Killing Floor, and I really want to rant about something, but I can't do that until I, uh, 
get on the subject of um, what I want to rant about. I know what I want to rant about, and I can't wait to do it, but I gotta prepare myself for it in the way that I don't want to be too completely pissed off. I don't really get angry often, but when I do, which is very few and far between, it's just really flustery and annoying because I don't get pissed off at people and I don't show that I'm angry. I just get really, in my mind, uh, here's Johnny. Really quiet, really pissed off in my mind like, oh, I should kill you. And you see that pencil on the freaking uh, desk next to you? Yeah, I'm going to stab it through your eye socket. That's the kind of angry I get, like, oh, if I want to do this to you, oh, I'm like, I don't know, you irk me. Your presence, your very presence irks me. See what I mean? There you go, cover. I think I figure out uh, how to move units and such and skip around for targets during this uh, battle. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it takes me, it takes a lot to get me ang angry. <clears throat> However, there's one thing that did hit a sensitive spot with me the other day, or these past couple weeks, and it really did annoy me. And it's just been a real big hassle and getting in my way and kind of, you know, demotivated me from doing any videos or anything like that. Which is uh, pretty bad considering the fact that I've been taking week breaks at a time because there's so much life stuff with work and everything in the way. I should really record more often, maybe an hour at a time. It doesn't have to be too much, but I should definitely put in more time. And I'm sorry for not putting enough in yet. I really need to make this my center focus. If I really want to, like, you know, I want to be out there so that I can entertain people, but I've got to put more effort into it. Or, well, not effort, but just maybe time. I mean, I, I think I give it enough effort. I don't know. I want to give it more effort. I want to give it a lot of effort, but right now I want to try and even it out so that I give it more time and effort that's equal to it, but, you know, I want to, I want, blech. bottom line, I want to put more time into it so that I have, like, a steadier upload rate, speed, thingamajigger. But uh, yeah, no, this subject really pissed me off, um, and only in the sense that I've been working on said subject for a while, and then it just gets tossed away like it was nothing, and it just really aggravated me. But, uh, you know what? I'm slowly getting over it. It still irks me every now and then from time to time, but uh, once again, you get what you pay for, life sucks, and then you die, that kind of thing. But uh, not much to do other than that. I have been working on my car every so often, taking care of some stuff. I've still got to pay off part of the uh, repairs from last time. I got to redo the brakes and rotors. This is all car speak for the average teenage man. Uh. Oh well. All right. Uh, they retreated. They are doing whatever. Um, what are these guys? Oh, the volley. All right, so that's that. I guess not much else going on between those people. Oh, sneaky men in the bushes. No Indians though. This time I don't think. And my guys are just getting chewed up by a uh, volley after volley. Oh, cover! Yay! Only 15% damage instead of 30. I was gonna. Uh, no, am I gonna move the officers? No, I'd switch around. Using the buccaneers to chop around and just getting all that stuff over and done with. And that's pretty fancy. Alright, well, just have to close the door. Somebody was yelling through the house. That was lovely. I don't like people yelling. People yelling sucks. I don't like yelling at people. I don't like being angry at people, but you know what? Eh. Oh yeah, this kind of scared me for a minute because pirates were on the right side and I thought, oh no, I defended with like little attack points. Or I attacked with little attack points, more of, ooh, flank. Uh, three on eight, GG. Now I'm just going to move the officers up, try and bring them up to bear. The rest of the infantry are just chilling out there with nothing better to do. And yeah, as you can see, you can't really shoot around rocks, so there's that. Fun little tip. Too bad we can't own a town. That would be actually pretty cool. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, I got a couple more videos to do of uh, pirates. <clears throat> Put this up. That'll stoke the fire for a while. Finish up putting Half Life up. I have difficulty putting those files on YouTube. Not sure why. Uh, show the video of the Roadster uh, before I build it, after I build it, and then before I paint it and after I paint it. Ooh, wow, 4,100 gold pieces. Heck yeah, I'll go for that, and I'll put a Dutch bag uh, in charge of that. I'm just playing around with the box. That's what you hear in the background, I assume. I, mean, I don't even know if it comes up right. Like, is there any audio? I think it barely comes up. Oh, well. Ooh, some, uh, 
when we're looking at some around. trading stuff, I guess. Some wheels. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here. And hello, barmaid. Hopefully the daughter's not a ginger. I want the blonde. Talk to the governor. What up? What up, yo? What you want? And blah, 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 blah. Oh, she ugly. Deuces. I'm out. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying right there. Ooh, wow. Block. And just block that, that. And taking all the luxuries, selling that. I really kind of dug myself into a hole with the whole goods thing because goods aren't really that popular, nor are they really expensive or wanted. So there's uh, a dilemma with trading goods. Goods aren't really that uh, wonderful. Hmm. Mm, I think I'm just looking around. Yeah, no, I was looking around where to trade the spice and sugar. Because I remember somebody saying something. And after this, I get on the track for uh, Baron Raimundo. And everybody knows how much fun that's going to be. Because Baron Raimundo is such a nice guy. Holy crap. This chrome set is just, like, so scary. I don't want to break anything on it. Do I even have model paint for this? Like... I don't I'm just going through a random car model right now, just looking like do I have paint? Do I see the uh the body of it and all the little tidbits. Oh wow, and there's the part of, first part of the block, engine block that is. Um Ooh, cute little tires. They're rubber or plastic? They are indeed rubber. Or very squishy plastic. I can't tell. Luxuries? Ooh. I'm missing out on some stuff over here. <laughs> uh, uh, spice is nothing. I, I, I really... I think Havana pays like 50 a ton. So it's like, pretty good. It's pretty aight. Oh, boy. Oh. Ding, ding. New month. And then Spanish Raider. I think I help out. Yep, I kill the fast scallion. The Infor... Infor... I don't know. In infidel... I don't know. Something along those lines. I'll never get it right. <laughs> I can't speak Spanish. I never probably will be able to speak Spanish. So let's just go ahead right there and say, yeah, GG, Diamond Digger. No way you would, is getting through that. Mm -mm. I don't know why it's going all hillbilly, but you know what? Whatever works. You missed. Somehow I get you, and I don't even have that much time to draw a bead on you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will be awkward and really weird for a minute, but take a look and pay close attention to the bulge in our pants and everybody else's. That is probably very unnatural. Either that's a tumor, or man is gifted. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. That's, like, interesting to say. Not interesting, just weird for a video game. I always see... The Saints Row let you, uh... Increase the size of <laughs> your character's package, which is a little awkward. Last time I played Saints Row 3 was with uh, an old friend of mine. Not friends anymore, but you know what? Whatever. Ooh. Yeah, no. We don't need men, but we do need a ship. So there you go. That's that. My zip. I'm playing with a Zippo too. I'm just like grabbing random stuff off of my desk right now and just playing around with it. That's how entertaining. I am, and there's no lighter fluid in. Oh yes, there is. Never mind. J K L O L. And I'm just lighting a lighter. Bum bum ba da bum. Bum 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 ba dum bum. Bum bum ba dum. Repair. Uh, repair. 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 Just put a massive hole in my pocket. And let's uh, trade with the merchant first. And yeah, why not? That's like what? 250, 350? Around there. Just buying all the sugar, getting 175 friggin' tons of this thing. I remember toting that around for who knows how long. Oh my goodness. Alright, so uh, visit the tavern. Take a fluffy hat because it's only 900. <sighs> Ask the barmaid what to do, except she's quiet. 20 people want to join, I just check anyway, and then Baron Raimundo, oh yeah, this scumbag, he's all the way down there, we have to island hop and play, like, pinball with this guy, 
Uh, nope, nope, didn't want to do that. I wanted to go to the governor. Mr. Stick up his ass. Hey, what's up, buddy? And his buddy stick up the ass times two. And promoted. And then recruiting in ports will be much easier. Lovely, I don't care. Oh, 200 acres. And ugly daughter doses. <laughs> I'm just going to say that every time I leave an ugly governor's daughter. Just be like, doses, peace out, homie. Just be all white ghetto wiggle wiggle waggle walk walk yeah wonky that's the word i wanted i i, I totally butchered my vocabulary my, my vocabulary right there wow i am not in a speaking mood today either a i've got a tumor or b i'm about to have a stroke or c i just can't talk and clock ringing in the background it is quarter to five on a sunday afternoon and i'm just looking through statistics we got most of our um most of our uh special items. I've still got a decent amount to go get before the uh, game is over. I was trying for like close to 100% completion, or at least maxing out all the stats like family members rescued, cities found, so on and so such. In order to get the cities, I've got a uh... I've got a... Um... Ooh, shoot, what was that? I've got to check out for uh... Dang it, what was that? In order to get lost cities, I've got to, um, take care of... What was it? I gotta get married first. That's right. I gotta rescue whoever your wife may be, and then she'll give you, like, pieces of a map after you tango with her for a little while. That's annoying as anything, because I can't dance, because I'm white. That has nothing to do with it, but I can't dance, because I don't like dancing. I only danced at my prom, and that was fun, but I don't want to do it again. I won't go to parties and dance. I don't go to parties in general, so I don't care. I mean, I'll just chill on a couch and be like, yep, that's what I'm doing. No siree, having none of that. Ah, boy. Ah, invasion force. Okay, good luck with that, guys. Caracas. Caracas. You're not camera. I've muted my mic like six times already just to yawn. Oh, my goodness. And I've got college class at like six in the morning tomorrow. Yay, yay, yay. And I bumped my mic. Fantastically professional. Alright, so what do you have for me? Portobello. Portobello is a restaurant. Portobello's is a restaurant by me. That's a very nice restaurant. I went there before. My date wasn't that wonderful, but people there were okay, and the dinner was just fantastic, and I really don't care about the... On this Roken! Or... I don't know. The Dutch language and the German language are such angry languages. Like... Purple wagon or something like that is like the uh, name for ambulance, and everybody else, everybody else is like ambulance, 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 and stuff like that from like Spanish or French. Seriously. Uh, the Notre Dame, the Le Cochon du Soleil. I actually know a girl named Soleil. She's pretty nice, but that's a very interesting name. And what's up, Mr. Spanish guy? Lenin something or other. I don't even know what he says. I sink a massive ship, and he decides to promote me anyway. This goes to show about their standards. Their standards are pretty bad. And hello, daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're not. You're gorgeous, but you're not blonde. So no thank you. I'm going home. I'm going home. Peace. Deuces. No, I, I only gotta say deuces to the ugly women in game. Because they so plain. And it's not cool. And another yawn was just fit in there. I think it's because I open my jaw up too large and like unhinge it every time I yawn or open my mouth. It's pretty bleh. Porto Cabello. Oh. oh boy. So let's see. Uh, just doing some trading. Guess what? Sell the goods because that's probably the best price we'll get. I should have sold my luxuries. Oh well. I gotta find a place to sh sell my sugar. I think I'll sell it in like maybe towards the end, maybe in Port Royal. St. Augustine has nothing. That's all the way up there. I don't even know why you would go up there. Baron Raimundo. Is any of the guy who kidnaps your wife too? Huh. Leolanus. Oh yeah. This guy's a jerk. Oh wait, no, that's right. 
Baron Raimundo is for your family. For your wife, or stealing your date, it's Colonel Mendoza, and he's a jerk. You can rescue as many daughters as you want. You can only marry one, though, so... Be very, very, uh... Wise when you choose a, da a daughter. I, um, a, uh... Choose a wife, a woman, a woman for yourself. Because you only get one choice, and you cannot pull a Mormon thingy and just, like, you know, whatever. Oh, and Leolanus is fighting somebody on land? Yeah, that physics. Game, yeah, no. Oh, uh, Caraco, what's in here? We've got a very snippy, uh, um, captain to deal with. Buzz off whippersnapper. Who says whippersnapper anymore? That's like an old, old thing. That, that died with like the 80s fashion wave. That was just terrible. I don't even remember. I don't know. Were aviators in the 80s or the 70s? I don't know. Aviators are pretty much the only cool thing. I actually have a pair of aviators in my car for whenever I drive. So I'm a cool guy. You took a shot at me. I shoot you in the shoulder, obviously. You know, but you can still sword fight pretty good for some reason and kick. I wonder, do you ever get tired of getting kicked off of a balcony? For real? Like, and then doing that twirl down? Ow, let him stab me. Uh, slash away, thrust away, that's weird. Thrust away again, meet in the center. Taunt and take a hit. Chomp. Thrust. Uh, slash again. And I'm just calling out my moves. And I'm just dodging him again. And then crack a bottle, let your body waddle, and you're on the floor. That's lovely. My, but you're a bold one, blah, 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 blah. Feel up my arm, why don't you? Um, well, that's... Alright, and this guy's a number to Dios now, great. He... Uh, the, 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 the guy was so close to me, but... Uh, now he's island hopping, or port hopping playing pinball with this guy is like probably the most headache like thing in the world all right so let's just check on crew nope let's get out of here um yeah no i just want to grab the spice and yeah that's about it so let's just get out of here kill they all on us because we could use some uh use some gold i believe did we do yeah no I, I attack him that's right i was like wait wait what I press a bunch of buttons, and I don't know what happens, but, yeah, there, just, like, slid to it, and I thought, oh, well, that was pretty cool. When I originally commentated on this part, I thought I would cover up and say, yeah, no, I just went through quick button choices, because I'm quick like that, but no, I messed up, and I had no idea what I was pressing. And my ship took a hit, his brigantine took nothing, and peace out, Girl Scout. Take some more hits, why don't you? Because more hits are, uh, no, that's just lovely. Okay, and you're coming in for the hit? Why not just, uh, damage the garbage out of your ship? You're gonna charge in? No, I'm gonna charge in for you. Let's see, where is he? Now we're gonna look from up top. And there he is. A ginger pirate. I wonder if he has no soul. Take a shot, and we matrix that stuff like nobody's business. This guy's got a weird bulge. <laughs> look at that. I don't know why I'm paying attention to that, but this is weird. Look at them. It's like these character models are just so bleh. It's funny. I love the game, but it's just so crappy looking. Um. And duck, kick a bucket, and I miss. I don't know how that hurt me, but uh, whatever. Hit him, duck, and try. I'm, I'm sitting around waiting for him to kill my crew, except he keeps losing people, so. Here's that. He loses 10 more, tries to gain the advantage, and then I finalize it. Kill shot. And three, two, one, skadoosh. If that didn't hurt so much, I probably would enjoy that. Ooh, a navigator. And no, oh, yeah, yeah, let's just, you know, talk and then step forward and psych. Yep, there we go. Alright, and we keep him, we don't need people, so we kill them, and we just keep, like, what? Uh, I forget how much. We're just gonna sit there and let it count, I believe, right? 62 tons of spice. Sink that thing. Um... I think 
we looted like 6,000, 5,000, 5,000 maybe. 5,500, or close to it. Maybe around 5,000. 5,500, 5,700, 5,700, not bad. And we knocked out the fourth most, most notorious pirate. Not bad. I enjoy that. Alright, so we just snake on through here, I guess, and we're on our way. Ooh, bump my headset. We're on our way to, um, look for Baron Raimundo, because this guy's a slippery little fellow. And I see a, uh, a pirate, uh, Rock Bralicino. You know, every time I think I see Rock Bralicino, I think, ah, Brock from Pokemon. I don't know why, but I do. Mach Maracabio, Cabio, Shabio, Fabio. Alright. The Notre Dame. The La Carche du Soleil, the Saint Pierre, and the uh weird galleon thingy. Alright, so what do we got here? Spice, I'm gonna buy some more of that. I think. No, I don't even buy more of that? Oh, that's a shame. And port de pa port de pa port de pa I don't I gotta I'm rusty on my French. I studied French for six years. And Brock from Pokemon. 2,300 doubloons out of Sydney's town. Sounds very Australian-like. And Baron Raimundo is all the way down there. And Number de Dios are on the way to Number de Dios. I don't need you guys. 69 guys. For her. Um, talk to the governor. What do you have for me? Someday I might be promoted, blah, blah, blah. Oh, beautiful daughter, but you're not blonde. I'm sorry. Oh well, just keep moving. Anchor Rock, that's a cute little name for Anchor Rock. Oh yeah, let's anchor here, clunk. Crash into the rock. Um, just gonna follow a Spanish trade galleon out of here. I mean, we gotta go to Nombre de Dios, and that's around the other uh, stretch of land, or whatever this thing is, the peninsula. I think that's what it's called, I don't know. I don't remember geography that much. Or geographical terms, more of. I remember geography. That class was fun. Because I sat in there, I did my work, I didn't talk to people because I was nerdy. And socially, oh, I kicked my model. Socially bleh. Middle school was boring. High school was so much fun. And it's funny that I can say was now, because I actually just graduated from it. And it's like, wow, I went to high school. No, not, not, I go to high school. I went. A very sad thought, because I loved my high school, but even so. Life goes on. Ooh, I just ripped off the, uh... Corvette's bumper. It's a roadster, too. I don't even know what to do with half of this. Alright, so, um. Yep. Rio de la Hacha. Hoicha. Hoicha cha cha cha. Ratata. Rakaka. I don't know. Oh. Spice? Do I grab it? No. Do I? Please. Oh, no. I have to grab food. I grab all of his food, and I don't grab any spice, do I? Please tell me I grab spice. Yes, I grab the spice! Woohoo! Yeah! Awesome! Sure. And now we don't need anything else. Just get out of here, please. Sweet. Alright, go to the tavern. Check it out. You've got a uh, voodoo stick. A shaman stick. And I debate, and then I take it because, like, you know what? Whatever. The bloody delight. That sounds like a very terrible time of the month for women. <laughs> and that sounds disgusting. 175 crew and 92 added to it. No, I don't need that many men. Uh, some they might be promoted. Okay, you ugly deuces. Peace out, home skillet. And then. Okay, so we're moving on out, and we're going to go look for Baron Raimundo now, because he's a sack of garbage. And he likes to avoid us at all costs, so there's that. Um, I don't know where else he could be. He could be... I think he went upwards to a Dutch town. He usually sticks in Spanish towns, but sometimes he'll visit a Dutch or English one. And Rio de la Hacha just got reinforced. So 
There's that. And then buy more spice for 9 gold a ton. And then buy more food, because it's cheap. And... Ooh, a barometer. Barometer. And I am now the fourth most notorious pirate. And he's... Hold up. He's there now. He's in number de Dios. Watch this idiot decide, you know what, I'm just gonna bail out doses later. Free repairs, that's cool. Oh boy. I should just like wrap it up and get all this like sugar off my ship. Because I have a hundred and something tons of that thing and sugar isn't really that great. You can sell it for a lot later on, but in the beginning of the game, psh, you're lucky if you get it for like 20 a ton. I feel like so professional that I uh, know the prices of in-game goods when I barely even pay attention to the stock market. I should pay attention to the stock market since I have stock, but still. Whatever. And it's five o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning. Cartagena is a wealthy Spanish capital, and that thing is reinforced. Look at that fort. That's like what? 300, 400 soldiers right there. Do not piss off the people at Cartagena. Nuh-uh, no siree. Alright, so, um... Wow. Okay. We're selling all of the spice. And all of the sugar. There we go. Then I buy it all back for some reason. Just to give him money, I think. Yeah, no, I do it so that I can uh, trade him all of my gold. I mean, not my gold, my sugar. And then, bam! Sell all of that. And... Wow. And then I sell him the remainder of that. Buy some food. I, no, do I buy? Yeah, no, no. Wait, nah, 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 nah. No, I don't. Okay, so I'd sell some of the spice. And, ooh, puffy shirt. And I buy the puffy shirt. I think that's the best thing to do. With Besides Brock from Pokemon. Um, best thing to do is buy all the items you can in-game, because you want to try and save up your money for uh, wealth points later on. Alright. Wait, no. Go back. No, okay, guess not. Never mind. JK. I don't do I don't do that. I, I'm not about that. Not about that life. I'm just gonna go sail around a little bit of the choppy frame rate stuff going on. I'm just gonna head on down to Nombre de Dios and watch. I'm gonna go in there and be like, aha, he's there. No, he ain't. Psych. Because Baron Raimundo is a scumbag. Scumbag Baron. Scumbag Raimundo. Or scumbag barre barre as in barrent b a and then ray barre i don't know something like that um yeah buy more spice consult with the shipwright and now i sell ships i think yeah 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 the that one first cuz that's more money and then i keep the Notre Dame because we've got some tonnage to carry. And you've got armor, and I take that because that's metal armor, and that's just the shindiggity. Seriously, how are you going to wear a puffy shirt and that? And he set sail to San Domingo. No, not San Domingo. He sailed to somewhere else. I don't remember where, but this guy likes to, to port hop so much. It's ridiculous. You have to literally sit, stay hot on his heels just to get him once, even. And then it takes him like a couple more months to resurface. Just annoying and blah, blah, blah. I think I meet up with him pretty soon, though. Yeah, he's going to Santa Catalina. And I don't even know how to get to Gran Granada. Gran Granada's like out there. It's like way out in the middle of nowhere. And you gotta travel inland to go there. And stuff. And such and such like that. Alright, so, um... Gran Granada. I don't know what's in Gran Granada, but I would not mind being in there. I, I want to see it. Check it out one day. We'll do that. In time, we will do that. Um... 
Hmm. Alright, so... Where is that? Oh yeah, no, that is him. Hey, how? look at how his message just says evil. Nothing else. Not good, not bad, not ugly. Just evil and all that junk as I adjust myself in the chair. Ah, this chair's getting uncomfy. Yeesh. Hmm, my back hurts. I feel old now. Older than I should feel. Wow. Oh, boy. So tired, so blech. Hmm, I'm just looking through a booklet right now. Uh, there's Baron Raimundo. Hey, let's fight in the storm. That would be pretty epic. And there's the Baron. Let's attack him. He's got 32 guns, 197 crew. He beats me in crew, but that's about it. Um... Yeah, no, we, we, I've got a fully upgraded ship. I don't know about him. Oh, no, he's got it upgraded, too. And he just eats that... No, he doesn't eat the volley. Never mind, I lied. Um, <laughs> he avoided that whole thing. So, there's that. And I don't even know what else to say to that, really. I mean... Tch, yeah, that's fine and dandy. I mean, what else are you going to do to it? What's what's going on with this here? I'm just checking some stuff out. And alrighty then. Well, I'll fix that later. We we will yeah, I'll do something with that. And your oh, Baron Raimundo's ship is looking pretty crappy. It's like one of those old beaters you can buy for like two thousand dollars around here. Or even less than that, like fifteen hundred or grand, five hundred, six hundred. My car cost me a decent pretty penny, and it's in a great condition, too. So I'm kind of happy about that. For those of you wondering, mine's a Chrysler. I'm going to give away the rest of that stuff later, but it's a nice car. And a wealth and gold and plunder are there for the taking, except for the fact that um, this guy has nothing better to do than, you know, yell at people and fight with his measly crew of... Drumroll, please. Um, his crew of... 146 people. Never mind, that's not measly, that's just blech. Alright, chop away. Thrust away, that's weird. Chop away again. Make you run up the stairs like a little woman. And my frame rate is so terrible down there, and then look at it up here. It's just wonderful. And I didn't even do anything. I just let him hit me. And then swing away, miss. Thrust away, awkward, and slash before he can, run him back up the stairs. These sword fights are so generic, but you know what? It works. And then he surrenders, blah, 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 blah. you're a master swordsman, yada, 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 yada. Um, and I, you better not cookie cut this map, dude. You better not cookie cut it. Oh, hey, look, never mind. Alright, so I gotta go find my sister in Campeche. Campeche is out there, and I don't want to go out there. Ugh. I just gotta look for Powder Rock, I guess. Alright. Well, that's that, I guess. And 32 sailors, we got enough men, and we've got a nice amount of gold. And he's got a very messed up ship, so we're gonna sink that. And let him go on his way in a little dinghy. And my chair creaks unbelievably loud. So yeah, no, I think we're set here. I'm just gonna close. So, um... You know, that was, that was pretty nifty, I guess. Not much else going on with that. I'm gonna stop at Port Royal. Campeche is all the way up there on the front left. And then now uh, I'm zooming around, looking around. Just decide Port Royal is a nice general location. I'm gonna dump the rest of my stuff somewhere. Um, where do I... S I think I sell it all in Port Royal. Make a pretty penny off of it, too. Save nice and neatly. I gotta make another save file as well, just in case, a backup. Because if my audio screws up again like it did to, uh, a couple days ago, then we're gonna have some problems. Oh, this guy's right out of Port Royal. It's pretty close. Alrighty. Huh. Just gonna do some selling and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, that, I guess that wraps up the gaming session for now. Until next time, really. I mean, next time's not going to be that far away either, but still. Yeah. There's money in my wallet. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
pretty cool. Um, just taking a look at stats, I guess. The Notre Dame, that's a place in France, ain't it? Oh, I'm yawning so much right now. This is unbelievable. Ugh. Yawning. Why am I yawning? Okay, yawning on the yawning. Uh, just looking at stats, I guess. 23 years old and in fine health. Been at sea for 13 months. We're just going to go divide the plunder. The illustrious Captain Diamond Digger 21. I like that title, man. Illustrious. That's That's a good title. And I spell Diamond Digger correct. That's that's an achievement. And I'm just looking through all that. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff. I need more fencing stuff, like a silk one. Mm -hmm. All my stats. Almost a quarter of the way through full wealth points. We've got a lot of uh, land. 28, 50 acres. That's, I wonder how many acres that is. Anyway, yep, so we're going to go to Port Royal. Uh, that about wraps it up for me this time around. I've still got another, like, two or three minutes to go until I get there and trade and stuff. And yeah, Port Royal looks kind of dingy and tiny. And, yep, that's no, a, just a modest, prosperous English capital. A cap? Do you call that a capital? Look at the flag. It's tattered. Oh, well. Anyway... Uh, that about, about wraps it up for us today, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, if you enjoy the video, leave a nice, cute little like. I didn't make too much off of the spices here. Um, leave a cute little like if you enjoyed the video, and if you feel like leaving that, if you want to leave a comment, feel free to do that. If you want to subscribe and support me even more, feel free to do that as well. Um, as always, I really appreciate the feedback whenever you guys give it to me, and I also appreciate the views and the... Um, the uh, congratulations and the uh, uh, thank yous for all the effort I put into this. And without you guys, I wouldn't be really doing this. Uh, even though there's so few of you. But hopefully one day there will be more. And now Mr. Stick up his ass. Yeah, that's all that. And she ugly. Let's divide the plunder. After selling everything. Yeah, and then... um. So yeah, my name is Diamond Digger number 21. Thank you guys for watching this uh, lovely little playthrough. And yeah, just selling all my food, <laughs> getting 11,000. And uh, yeah, guess I'll see you guys later. Sometime soon, whenever that happens. I'll just let the months go through and advance to journeyman. Yeah. yeah that's just about it. Alrighty. That guy's asleep. And advance as journeyman. Mm, now. Now? Now? And now? Come on, come on, come on. Advance already! Why why was I talking so much? <laughs> Alright, well, I'll eventually do it. I think. Maybe? Yes, now, sorta. Come on. Oh, there we go, yay! Ding, 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 ding. It's in 1666. That's pretty scary. Alright. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys later! And sail away.